Hey everybody, Bo the Vultures here for Charts, the video game. I mean, really, this game has a lot of charts in it, doesn't it? Although, you know, I suppose a lot of games anymore have like little bar graphs and charts and bits and bobs and things like that. Because, uh, you know, it helps you customize your character in one way or another or something like that. Um, but anyway. Everybody's in Europe now, which is too bad. I gotta figure out how to uh, maintain my stranglehold on uh, that whole continent. I really, really do. Siberia has entered negotiations with Moscow. Here, Max entered negotiations with New York. All right, we have even more unprofitable airline routes in South America. Well, you will notice that don't seem to confront me none. Also, how's that route in Atlanta or uh, to uh, how's that route to Miami looking? Oh, we can do better than that. Let's put it on sale. That is what capitalism is all about. Really, I don't understand capitalism, so you'll understand that this is all information to me. I sure do. I sure do. Yep. Things are all in all looking pretty good here. You know, we could put, uh... We can put a 727 on this flight, get a few more people going down to Mexico. That might help us. It sure might. It might, Rabbit. Actually, you know what else might help? You know, I think about it. Let's go into C button mode. Mexico City. Two. London. How far? 5,560 miles? We can totally do that. Um, one thing I want to check, though. Do we have access to any more slots in uh, Mexico City? Because I think a, uh, a flight out of our headquarters might really help us. Yeah, two more slots. Totally. Let's, uh, let's give it a try. What type of plane will we use on the route? Oh, we can use either one of these. I'm going to use the DC-850 because I actually don't think it's going to be that popular. But let's open it. Maybe I'll be proven wrong. And the ears will be pierced by jet noise for punishment. Or as a form of punishment. To me. I'll be punished is what I'm trying to say. Yep, that's the world, folks. Alright, let's go to uh, South America here. Real quick. I just want to double check and make sure that all of my routes are at maximum discount. They are. I'm just checking, folks. I like to be thorough. Are there any business opportunities that are relatively affordable that I can purchase down here? Down in Mexico City. Can I buy that from you? No. And I can't buy the commuter airline. See how much that commuter airline cost? Like... Let's see here. Two hundred and six million dollars. Two almost, almost two hundred and six and a half. Or two hundred and six thousand four hundred thousand. 
however you want to look at it. But yeah, that's crazy money. Okay, so. Now I'm alright for checking out business possibilities. I'm also alright, I think, for right now for, uh. for this whole turn, really. I mean, what else can I be doing? I need, uh, I need more slots in, uh, Los Angeles before I can do anything other than start a flight going to Honolulu. That's gonna be forever to get. Are there any businesses in Los Angeles I haven't picked up yet? I don't think there would be, but maybe there are. Oh. <laughs> There's the catering service that is just out of reach in affordability. I'm pretty sure there's nothing in London either. I just accidentally skipped past. Didn't I? Yeah, I did. Let's go back to Europe. Oh. There's actually lots of stuff here I could buy. I could buy the travel agent. Travel agent's a good one. Let's go with it. And I have no more money, so I'm not going to do anything else this turn. Faux show. Okay. Let's see what happens on the what stage. Oh, business is booming. Stewards continue to flock to Atlanta. Siberia's travel network promotion in Europe was successful. They're really hitting that whole thing hard, aren't they? You have dark haired girls out there. Unless they don't have the, uh. <coughs> it seems like usually whenever I would do a travel network promotion or something like that, it would always be a, a blonde girl. Maybe it's just like the region or the city that you start in. Because they actually do change up the people that you have. Um. Like if you start in, uh, Japan. Like I'll sometimes start my airline in Tokyo. Um. All of your employees have black hair. Um, just the way it is. Just the way the game plays it. I'm making lots of profit. That's how much profit I'm making. It's a good number. Still got a ways to go in North America. Still got a ways to go in South America. Gotta hang on to Europe. But other than that, pretty much life is going on. The DC-9. It's a little, uh... It's not a tri-jet, it's a... It's a bi-jet. Oh yeah, you heard me. Alright, so we bought that thing. We got some slots in Honolulu. All good news. All good news. All good things. And they will not be coming to an end. Not right now. Wait a minute, I don't want to change any routes. I want to start a new one. Get me away from here. I should see how that uh, fair discount in Miami was doing. What type of plane you want to use on the route? <laughs> Oh, this route's a little bit too far. A little too far for the poor little, uh... 727. I thought a 727 could make it. I really need to check those distances. Let's go ahead and open the route anyway. See how many, uh... People want to travel that route from, uh... Hawaii to Los Angeles. I believe the, uh... I believe that plane that had all the snakes on it in that movie that Samuel L. Jackson was in was going from uh, was going from Hawaii to Los Angeles and picked up a terrible criminal or something like that and then also picked up a lot of snakes because that's how those things work. All right, drastic discounts on our flights to Miami. That's the way we got to play this. Just making sure. It said 18 months last time, didn't it? 
Yeah, it did. So it's gonna be a while. If we can't manage to get lots and lots of passengers on that flight to Hawaii, we may be uh, out of uh, luck. London to Mexico. Oh, it is filling up. Well, kiss my grits. Let's go ahead and put two planes on that route. And that's all the slots we have in Mexico City. Well, okay then. We'll get more slots in Mexico City soon, kids. Don't you worry. Oh, yeah. Also, we'll soon get to see what all the excitement's about over this uh, DC-9. There's a club in downtown Washington, D.C. Uh-oh, India-Pakistan War. India-Pakistan War 2. War is wrecking havoc on those locations. Airport expansion. Oh, we can get more flights into Hong Kong. It would be great if we could get more flights into Tokyo. But we can't. Wow, Siberia is coming really close. <sighs> you guys are trying to force my hand. You guys are really trying to force my hand. Oh, did you see how few my uh, flights I are passengers I, tr I uh, sent out of New Delhi? Like 720? Something like that? Something ridiculously tiny. Oh boy, North America. It's proving a tough nut to crack. Also, our profits really shrank this quarter. For seemingly no reason. I'm gonna have to go into a uh, meet with uh, all my buddies. My dogs. See what's happening there. Two slots in Mexico City. Someone from Lockheed would like to talk to me. A deal of a lifetime from Lockheed. Wow. That's... Getting a lot of offers for planes this time around. I I oftentimes go through a playthrough and not get any offers for planes. Selling planes at half price. Yeah. You know what? I'll go ahead and get 10. I may regret it later. But they're on sale. I can't resist the sale. Oh my god. Also, she's got this uh, interesting hair flip thing going on. Quit looking at the girls. You're supposed to be doing business. I'm not going to sell any of those. I'm just sort of checking it out. Hello. I may eventually replace all of those in the fleet. Wait a minute, so Boeing. No, these are all different people. Anyways, um, dum 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 dum. What was gonna do? Oh yeah, I was going to start a route between. Let's see, Munich. Oh, hold on, hold on, there, Chief. Let me see what Munich's deal is. Maybe what I want to do is. No, Amsterdam would be a ridiculous flight. Hmm, Vienna, eh? For Stockholm. We could uh, develop strange sympathies for uh, our captors there. Not a bad little economy. No, we don't want to send flights into Kiev. Flights into the Soviet Union at this point in time, not really that great. Vienna. Oh, yeah. I'm liking the looks of Vienna. What about Munich? Munich, not bad either. Tell you what, let's get into discussion with Vienna. Wolf, Vienna sausage. Wolf. And on that note, it's time to leave. <laughs> See you next time.